I, Lieutenant Colonel Amadou Bojan, do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Bojan. Welcome to the TRRC. Thank you, Mr. Uh, well, Mr. Bojang, uh, I know uh, that you are proficient in the English language, uh, but we do interpose interpretation in one of the local languages. So in which language would you wish your testimony to be interpreted into? Or if you wish, you can also speak in, in any of the local languages. In, in Mandinka. Do you want to speak in Mandinka or you wish your testimony to be interpreted into Mandinka? I want to speak English. You want to speak English? That's good. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, you have taken an oath to speak the truth. Uh, it is a criminal offense under the laws of this country to lie under oath. It is also an offense to provide false information to the TRRC. Uh, you know you have been adversely mentioned by witnesses who have alleged that you participated in their torture at Holgam. Holgam and that you are also responsible for their unlawful detention. Can you confirm that you so, have been confronted with these allegations? And that you have responded to them in writing. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, could you sign your statement? Could you take a look at it? Uh, could you take a look at it? You can keep it there for the time being. And, and, and we would exhibit it and then take it from you. So, Mr. Witness, what are your full names? Sedo Etondi. My name is Amadou Boja. Ntomu Amadou Boja Neti. Would you, what is your date and place of birth? I was born on the 19th of May, 1970 at Bakao. I was born on the 4th of August, 1970. Please provide uh, briefly your background information. So, the American for more later in Jumati. Background information: school, enlistment into the army, promotions, and all that. I attended uh, Jinak Primary School. Now, me. Now, follow Jinak Primary Karambungul to know me. And I proceeded to St. Augustine Senior Secondary School. But I want to not not a St. Augustine Senior Secondary Karambungoto. That is Pajuf, right? Well, I'm Pajuf Tiba. Yes. Ah. Then from there, I enlisted into the then Gambia National Zenamori in 1989. Between 1989, so I'm going to be in Bota Karambungoto or to Molendunta Gambia National Zenamori. Um, in the Gambia National. You did not do any high school, correct? I come to Gamma High School, okay. Not uh, formal. Ani. Could you answer again? Ajabi kote. Not formal. Formal for high school. Amunda mandra nying karambum bal to many along kwe be luring. Could you explain what you mean by that answer? Wo iso for nya sani ano ba wo koto muneti. Which means I did not proceed to high school. I did it private. I did it privately. Wala mnyin tinda mandra nying karambum bal to denga karango kemfai yenne. And uh, tell us about it. Afonya ba ya Kenya me. Um, the I, I went to Nusrat to do a private GC. Ntara Nusrat le nga GC ilundi kunti boke mfaye karala. Which year? Sanjuma. This was in 2004. Nimu 2004 sangoleti. You were enlisted in the. 
gendarmerie in 1989. 89, yes. And 15 years later, uh, you did private O levels. In private O level. In which subjects? Yeah. I did English. And I also did maths. And uh, I did um, government. These were the three areas that I did. Three O levels. Yes. Do you realize that in O levels, that is a straight fail? No, I don't know. Malongonya. Yes. 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 Since you understand it, I don't understand. I don't understand what you mean. So when you said you understood, you in fact did not understand. And it is surprising that you did all levels. And you did not understand the system. The subjects that I failed, I should repeat when I don't pass them well in the secondary fourth. Are the subject that I repeated in the O level? No, secondary fourth. Uh, the secondary the subject I don't want to belabor the point, but do you have a certificate to show that you did this exam? Yes, I do. Uh, and of course, the Gambia National Army would have that certificate. It should be in your file. You know, if there are some certificates that perhaps you would not want to put them in your file, they are just for your personal upkeeping. Certificate or dolo bije bukala fiyo luke la file o kono ifonga le kaulu mara. In my file is secondary fourth certificate that is there. Na file o kono secondary fourth certificate o le bije. But you attained a higher certificate, but you did not put it in the file. Even there are some courses that I did not put in my file. Okay, after your testimony, you can go with the investigators and then you give them a copy of the certificate. certificate Agreed? It's on time. Because all this is important to determine your truthfulness. English, maths, and government. Those are the three subjects you did. Yes. And uh, what ranking were you given in your certificate? I will not remember now. But that is something that everybody will remember. You sit O levels, you want to know, you will definitely know what division you get. Even common entrance, everybody will remember what mark they scored. You're laughing, you know, you know that is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you here we no matter how you do it yeah, or how you fit it for the, <laughs> we will catch you.
you did not do O levels. Yeah. I said I did not do it as a career, but I, I did not do it formally, but I did it privately. This is what I have said. Okay. You will produce the certificate, <laughs> and then we would see it. And uh, don't tell us it is lost. <laughs> Perhaps where I kept them, <laughs> they also get lost. <laughs> <laughs> if you suddenly lose them, <laughs> uh, but for what it is worth, all levels, you are your six best subjects are aggregated. Yalong ni all level kalong. Ye subject so ye mi ke mi yalong ko ye ganye soto je bag e ko kafu nyomale. And then they give you a division. Zani o ke dore sa fu ko komi ye number mi soto. But if you do only three subjects, subjects you would not qualify to have a division. Also in the whole honesty, I do not know much about the division. Uh, the division. Uh, the division. Uh, the division. Uh, the three subjects for the first time, and uh, that was that. And uh, this was as not that high school. But and Nusrat High School would also have those records. And Nusrat High School, well, for now, was yeah. suffering all better They could, records. but um, I was having a private, uh, a private teacher who was taking me on some of the areas subjects. Okay, uh, what uh, grade did you score in government? I did for government. You mean Nusrat Grade eight. Grade eight. And I, what? I, do, what? And in English? English. English still is it. I do not do well in them. And um, maths? Maths. I yeah. feel it. Maths, no, I'm um, for And that would be a nine, isn't it? That's, that's true. I do not perform well. So already three Uthule. subjects aggregate 25. <laughs> <laughs> That is why I said those type of certificates you cannot put them in a file. Well, I'm not going to go. Kaiti fasongolo, certificate fasongolo. Ebuka uluke no ila file o kono. Proceed, please, and tell us more about your education and uh, your progression in the army. Iya fomole iya karangol minge anila nyat iya nyatu tal minso to Gambia la sojer bundato. When I passed out in 1990. I was posted to Charlie Company. Bring a bring pass out. Nga karang karang ok sojari ala karol fung ambang. 1990. Yen samba Charlie Company le. Commonly known as Mobile Zandar Muri. Kafole Mobile Zandar Muri. Wole menu Zandar Muri la bunda men katani nak. And from there, I was posted to the Amori. Bring bato to yen samba kidi bungoto. Jorang lo katara dami. And I serve as the Amore Clark. Until I get a safer lati, wo jorang ulo labungo toje Clark wo. And from there, I was posted to the RSM's office. Bring bato to in samba RSM la office auto. And uh, as an RSM Clark. Ngeta auto fanang Clark wo to safer la. But at the same time, also as an instructor. When do wo not to fanang ngeta fanang moti men kado lu fanalu karandi. Then until 1994. For 1994. When the General Mori was, when after the military coup, during Sojaro Le Bangkota, the General Mori was disbanded and amalgamated into the into the army. The General Mori bunda nyinjanjang ye dundi menu beje nundu kola yolo saundi ye samba Sojaro la karola. Then I was posted. I was redeployed as a military intelligence officer. Kutumo long ye samba Sojaro la kulo dinkaringo duku bunda la. And in 1995. In 1995, I was posted to Farafenya as an infantry soldier. Yeah, in Samba Farafenya, in Keta, a soldier who did a form infantry, well, I'm soldier do kulalu. This was until 1998. Well, until for 1998, then I was posted to the Gambia Armed Forces Training School. But more like in Samba Gambia, the soldier who did a form of infantry. Then, in 1999. In 1999, in Samba Gambia. I was sent to the Ghana Military Academy and Training Schools. Yanki Ghana la Sojar Karambuto, eka Sojarul Karandidami. 
ase platon sajin skos ami combat training school pour nga ta platon sajin wala londo karang menketa kelo la nya kunyaluti of course this time that was an nco course correct that was an nco course um, nco course net for o muto nyale mo nco nco karang wala and this time round i was a sergeant and dum was silo sayin ngeta saji noti in in 2006 2006 sama kono i was a royal gibraltar course organized in the gambia mtarta royal gibraltar royal gibraltar eh, londi karamo to meya lonko ya ke gambia janne and after performing as the best student birin nata ke eh, karanalu kono nyaton koti wolo i was recommended to go to the united states of america for course ina tan tombong pour ngata karamola america banko kan i first went to the staff non ncio academy data illa do kulala ncio londi karambundala and from there i proceeded to the marine corps recruiting depot in san diego rimbo taw to lem data marine wala mbako no sojar kunyalu karan dinkira nyinto san diego in 2007 run 2007 sango kono I was sent to Dafo as a company sergeant major. Yenki Dafo company sergeant major Makamoto. Of course this time around I was a staff sergeant. Ro tembo ngeta staff sergeant oti. Due to the confidence that the authorities had on me. Jiko me nyaton ko lia soto ntela Karola. I was not promoted but I was lifted. Man na pala so la fade barbitu yel nakulu selen di santo. But uh, this is normal in the military. You must put it here. It's normal. It's normal. It's, it's, normal. Normal. it's, normal. it's not special ah. to me. It's very ah. normal. Wo dalta kelale, wo kakele. So, your official rank was uh, a staff sergeant. Amanta so, staff mm. sergeant makamu wale tutambulu. And the rank you carry on particular assignments may be different so due I, to the roles you are given. Say so makamu do min di la proyeta proka do go do ka. Obo bo fatala ni makamu mum fon be bul. That's that's true but this time as a company sergeant major omo to nyalde bari ni silo ngi ta company la sergeant major le te and the role of the company sergeant major is very tedious a uh, company sergeant major plus or do ku ko len mu de because you manage soldiers that it like so jaro la ko lu noma sata ke topoto then a uh, uh, sergeant major wouldn't not be a, a rank below warrant officer a sergeant major makamo fa manya na tara warrant officer do malaba you know sergeant major you are either warrant officer class 2 or you are warrant officer class 1 nibe sergeant major yalla wala ka kenyinti ko be warrant officer class 2 wala warrant officer class 1 but often times it's below warrant officer but what in what i can say class 2 akatara warrant officer do malaba for one day warrant warrant officer is this two either you are class 2 or class 1 you know below them is the staff sergeant waran officer mo place fla class 1 wala class 2 bar ne boy do ma wala staff sergeant note proceed please continue and on upon return from dafo rim botan and dafo in 2008 2008 san kono and i was confirmed to waran officer class 2 rumo long ye na place londi ko mo futata waran officer class 2 in 2009 run 2009 i was commissioned as a lieutenant mutumo lem ye makamo dinna e kafu me lieutenant and what kind of commission did you receive sa ete mo commission si fa lek no e min di la i receive a quarter master commission nga quarter master makamo commission le soto after having served uh, for how long as uh, staff sergeant ayata ye ibe do ko la staff sergeant makamo be bul kabrins wati juma I was promoted to staff sergeant in 2008 2007 2007 lo yenge staff sergeant oti but of course the duration between a sergeant and a staff sergeant was almost 8 years 8 years bari makamo member sergeant on staff sergeant oti ma sanji sai and that was not in line with the tacos and onin ko lu lanya manta i should have stayed for only 2 years nyanta sanji fula le lo kala ji for 3 years la sanji saba but it went up to 8 years bari na tanta han fo sanji sai But was got, was there a reason for that you know about alba that you know about you yeah, mean long you know promotion sometimes you may not know the reasons is up to the authority sometimes it has to do with character discipline or otherwise but my case i don't feel it was like that 
ka palasi la fa wo atuta nya ton kolle bulo to modolo asike mari jikoti wallahi la do ko kenya wala ko lulanya bar kulo me alon ko dal eh akatara ko nya ton kolle la karo bulo were you your quartermaster promotion was it to full lieutenant or uh, second lieutenant la quartermaster makama la fanyi fo full lieutenant lem ya ya wala dila no bang to was a full lieutenant yeah lieutenant tim mari wala dinna in gambia shouldn't it be to captain gambia jam fa manya nak la captain makamol tiba that's correct mo muto nyalti how did you feel when your promotion was to lieutenant ye mo nak la muti bala kabri ye la makamol la fa lieutenant ke ke lieutenant i felt it could have been it could have been otherwise na jela ko asa keno nya do nyama but i don't have an option ari fere do te mbulo I have to sold it. Funga tawonya. Then 2012. To 2012 sango kono. I was promoted to captain. Tumolo ye na palaso la fa yen ke captain oti. Then I was redeployed from the training school. Tumolo ye mbondi sojar karambu nyindo. To yundum. Yen samba yundum. In the army. Sojar bundato. Do they have minimum qualifications for officers? Fo ye fengo soto la mi ala kumi wale ni ntaka itende kwa yenyi londo soto la proka ni makama kari soto ba. That's true. Umu tu nyal. And what's the minimum qualification? Sai ni ntamu londo si fara soto la pro ya makama ta. According to the Gambia Armed Forces standard, you must have at least O level. Gambia sojar bunda la yiriko momenti fo ya O level makama soto londo la karola. And you must also Um, go uh, start as an officer cadet. And you need to have that level of well, officer cadet. Um, that is, um, then you will be commissioned as a regular combat officer. To my lom, is in the palace of the local. It is an official to me along. Co, is it a lorry? No, kilo bundato. You did not take that route. I did not take that. It is a slow road. Okay, but for quartermaster for uh, commissions. For quartermaster commission. Pour quoi ramasse ta commission à la Carola? Um, there is a board that is that is constituted. Il ka molle tombo men kasi akwokuna. Look into the efficiency of certain senior NCOs. Pour ici wo NCO lu men ya longko ibe o makamoto ici la lodo la ni la do ko sambanya ning a yiriko jibe. And uh, sometimes um, this has to do with people in the in the stores and we don't modo la kake molet men ya lanko men be mangasino la carola and um, other threats that you know they have the expertise like medics and other things and men ya lanko ye no dolu soto men be ko jara ro bunda aning ku ko tangol men ni be tembere but then uh, gambia armed forces at a time but uh, gambia la sojar bunda wato dolu um, there were lack of officers wo officialu menu nyan tar tar law palaso to iman soto and uh, there is no training institution to train all those officers in the gambia adun karam bunte gambia jam men nyan tawo molu karandi la gambia banko kanjang so they look inwards bitum e ka konotole jube identify ncos ye wo molu tombo ngoy ka fo men ye nco lu who has the potential to become officers many along ko e ila ko ila do ko yai tan ko si keno le nyaton kolti si palaso lu dino menula and perhaps also they have background um courses that they have done either internally or overseas and on finance atara nyil keta molle ti men ya lonko ye karangulu kelenu ase keno e karanda banko kanjang ase keno e karanda banko e bantala bar satara e keta moluti menu karanta yo londo lu soto In, eff in effect what you are saying is that people who did not meet the minimum requirements were selected and made officers people who Atomology. did not meet the minimum requirements were selected and made officers Many along ko inyanta yiriko men soto na londo la karola bari e mankita dala amunta ka wolle kono jube ye tombong ye nyim place la fake ye I don't understand that statement if I may read you correctly it means those who don't have all levels 
to be officers mela ko mo fa mbak lo ñu ndi ben yalla ko ma o levu lo londo soto provision lu keno wo parasol to bang that is partly it wo da fa nam bi jele de because what you said because we did not have enough officers so they looked inwards say kono to jibe those who had the potential ya mol tombo mi yalla ko jigita ko wol sakke them officers ya wol ke ya wo place di wala you know they went in the army when you talk about the requirement ya lon sojar bundala ni ngi yek ma fu men keta ila sola daluti it is not only academic requirement bara man ke nyinti kal karango londo silo do ron jibe de but that aside but what that bon there would be minimum academic requirements but if we yir ko so to miyana ko bolo so ibe sulala wala londo la karola that is true in some cases and o muto nyalti karodol even for quarter master promotion there should be minimum academic requirements and it should be ele ana tara fang quarter master makamo lem nyanta ka yenta yolondo yir ko soto la mi ala ko ta fay o level to nya ko fani that's the fact dan sul ngalo la ta la ko lem to nyaati and you did not have that did you and it mo soto ko the minimum academic requirements of o levels you did not have ka yir londo yir ko me ka fay o level it mo soto we raise this because we have to make recommendations for institutional reform nya je nganyen ko fo janten ka to nyanta ka a ka yitandiro kale ani sa soute rol mel tata do ko bundal la fanal ko mi nyanta ke tamande nyaami you would agree with me that a good number of the officer corps in the army did not have the minimum academic requirements e be son namala ko mo jamal mi yalon ko be do ko la wo so jar bunda nyindo e mo wo londe yiri ko mi yalon ko ka fa o level e mo soto the minimum academic requirement they don't have it that's true mo muto nyalde and in fact and um fana fa most of the senior officers mo ñu ñaton ko jamal ko you have a lot of lieutenant colonels ya mo jamal soto mi yalon ko ya lieutenant colonel makamo bebulu who are just two promotions from general mi yalon ko do makamo fula wala be ni general makamo tema who have nothing beyond secondary four e wol mom fa offensive of ka fo mi secondary four kala yiri ko ya wala soto Do you think that our army for the digital code the officer corps would compare very well to the officer corps of uh of uh, other armies say yeah, in the sub region say nen ko wol bo nyam fo ite amen to la soldier bundal e so wol nen soldier bunda ko tan la la milyalon ko be gambe la tundo la bantala be gambe e bantala te banku ko tan wol mi be gambe gambe e bantala yes yes what Ah, you, can, you can compare them. We can compare very well. You can. <laughs> you, think, you think you would a person would attain the rank of lieutenant colonel in the Senegalese army yeah, without Rako. even going to high school? For more better Senegal la soldier bunda to le a lieutenant colonel makamo soto ayatra amanta karambu batoba. See um commission um council. Yeah, yeah, council. Um in most of the countries Banko Jamakan they have a military academy. Soldier can enroll in the army. Even raw civilians can enroll. Then, when any civilian can sign the form, he will not be. You can acquire your academic um, certificates. This is the London Kaito Soton Noje to the military. Soldier can enroll. We like that. Ah, yeah, oh, be jail in this country. In Bangkok, in the absent, in the absent of normal. Ning ayatra nyanta kela nyami no manke. In, in, you have to go with you know the little that you have. But then that is not what we're talking about. Aman ke mbole fo kanjan. You said our, our officer corps into la soldier bundal ni mol would compare very well. Is a wol ning banko academically to the officer corps of the armies in the sub region. Na na ta londo londo yir ko la carola ese la no la ni banko ko to ngal mi be gambia. The For, our officers with this with the officers of the senegalese army. for in dollar soldier mol jang ise la no la ning senegal la soldier mol nana tay londo la karola academically no londo la karola hani but professionally yes barika do ko nyum fanan no ha sianse of fono le but you cannot you cannot dis dissociate you cannot separate the professional from the academic yalla londo ning it have it have bonding it have wutuno la for coming for instance in the army 
If you are promoted, the burden is on the command. Put you to the to the to put you to the right direction. That is by giving you the right courses. For instance, my case. When I was commissioned. I was sent to Nigeria Nigeria do my junior staff course in 2017 2017 and in 2019 or 2020 I went back to to complete my senior division and I competed well. And even though there are some of them with degrees. That's why I said in some look, uh, this is not necessarily in reference to you personally. Uh, you may be an exception and you do very well. But nonetheless, it doesn't make it right. But Hana Tara will be Martin now will get a shield. That's true. That is true. So so you agree that it is wrong that in our army we take promote people to high ranks to no. which they do not qualified you answer now i agree and, and in fact it is in the interest of the army uh, that the soldiers are given ranks that are commensurate with their level of academic and professional proficiency. That's true. You have to wait for the interpretation before you answer. Okay. Uh, Gambia participates a lot in peacekeeping missions. You even participated in East Timor, even though you you have jumped that one in your description of your biography. That's true, is it? That's true. You have to wait for the interpretation. But okay. uh, But Gambians generally do it well abroad. Gambia dingol fong niya jibe bake ni tata banta kata duko keje ika kela nyama nyanta kela nyami fong. Correct. Komuto nyalti. But we would have done better if we sent people who are qualified for the positions they were given. That's and it is also in the interest of fairness for everybody in the armed forces that we have well-defined standards that would determine promotion. So that there would not be any favoritism. That's And the minimum standard is you have to have a particular minimum certificate before you can reach particular levels. That's true. And you agree that that does not exist in the army? At least from 1994 to, to 2017. It, it, it is. Um, because currently, 
Na tusai nyi ntembeng. The Gambia Armed Forces is... Gambia, Gambia Rasojar Bunda. Is recruiting some... Um, um, is it medical officers, but there are some there are some criteria that they are recruiting some cadets at the training school. Karibu mota ke kang barina eka mota ke nyamen saying sako kadet makamo jararo bunda la karola eko mo fasongo leta. I think gradually we are shifting. The command is shifting from those kind of promotions. Na mera na kantiolo nyatungo lu ibe falinkane ka bo wapala si la fa fasongo luto. And I think they want to take the correct measures. And I believe this is in line with the security sector reform. From 2017 to date. About 2017, There is no such kind of a promotion. Which is a good thing. Would you agree? Well, uh, we to the it, is a, it is a very good thing and it's commendable on the side of the command. Good. Uh, in your progression, you were made lieutenant and in 2012, you were promoted to captain, isn't it? Yes. Captain Makamo, Proceed from the continue. I said I was pro I was transferred to um, Yundum Barracks. Now for your sound, the Kansamba Yundum Barracks as military police officer commanding. Well, I get a soldier who finally cono police soluti many along co intertarte la canti on the cono ilanyatongo. While I was at the military police, what I'm in finally intertarte soldier police bundala. The provost marshals call me. Who was, who was he at the time? At that time, I believe Major Lieutenant Colonel, I may not remember well, but it's Bahore Jaite. I don't know if it's Major Lieutenant Colonel, but I'm not sure if it's Major Lieutenant Colonel. He called me on the phone. He called me on the phone. And told me, where are you? I said, I'm on my way going home. I said, I'm on my way going home. I have clothes. He told me something terrible has happened. Executive directors have come that you should be placed under arrest. And So you were informed on telephone by telephone. Yes. Ah. Was that the norm? And people who were involved in some terrible situations were informed by phone that they would be arrested. Well, I may not call it a norm, but in my case, that was the issue. Your case was not serious. But that's how they put it to me. At that uh, we know that during those days, people's homes were visited at night and surrounded by all sorts of uh, military units. Including state guards. In effecting arrests against military officers. Isn't that the case? That was, that was true. So you have to wait for the interpretation. Otherwise, uh, the video would not capture your responses. Could you answer now? That's true. That was true. So in your case, you had the luxury of being called on the phone to tell you that you were to be arrested. That's true, sir. And then what did you do when you received that information? I, I turned back. To Yundum Barracks. Ntata Yundum Barracks. And I surrendered myself. Namfan Seima. I was placed under detention. Did they tell you what you did? 
Nobody tell me anything. How did you feel? That you were brought there, you were, you were made to surrender yourself under arrest, and you are not told what you did. 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 You are why were you disturbed? Because I could not imagine what went wrong any time or anywhere during that period. Because there was Did you feel that this silent treatment amounted to torture? You were just sat there, you were never told what you did. It is through this commission that I came to understand the better definition of uh, torture, and now I realize that it was part of the torture. Nyim komisong la duko kuna lom nata wakalimu fahamu kafu mune mu tuba abukanguti kafu tacho memu tajire yati nyim komisong kuna lom fanga nata wafahamu. But even if you do not know what the definition of torture was, hana atrafa yema long kumi tacho kuto mumuneti. You did not feel good about what happened to you at that time, did you? But hana wobe kuwa minkete la yebo me content fere. It's true, I was not feeling good. Did you feel that your rights as a citizen were being violated? I felt like that. And that feels terrible, doesn't it? Yes. And for how long were you there? I was there for three months. And during these three months, you did not know what you did. And when you carry sabo, which you can email or email me. I was taken to NIA once. Sinya kilingi yansamba NIA in front of the panel. Panel onya tili mula je. The panel was headed by Sukuta Jamme. Me panel onya tonka ya ikafole utumu Sukuta Jamme. And uh, there are some panelists also. And umo dolo fana lebije menu da be panelo njiko no. I cannot remember all, but I can remember a few. Hakilo ota be mutano la bari danta hakil danta bije hakilo se ulu mutano le. It's a combination of army, police, NI. Ato sojaro lu police aning NI ila molo yewo le kafunyo maji. From the army side. Sojaro la karola. It was now Lieutenant Colonel. Um, Ablai Mane. Saying Amari la makamo Lieutenant Colonel Long atomu Ablai Mane leti. Go ahead. And Captain Landin Jao. And then Captain Landin Jao. And then and Lieutenant Noha Williams. And then ikafume Lieutenant Noha Williams. Could you, Lieutenant Noha Williams, huh? Yes. Ablai Jao. Landing. 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 Lieutenant Colonel Landing Jao. Captain. Sorry, Captain. Uh, Lieutenant and then Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel. Ablai Mane. Ablai Mane. Mm -hmm. Ablai Mane, uh huh. Then the NI, um, I could recall um, Sukuta Jame. NI Ela Karolang Hakilo Sukuta Jame Muta. The others, I don't know them. I don't know their name. Lulu Molu Long, Wala Namol Tulu Fanal Long. In police, there is one double. Police la karola mo kilimbi ya kontong buda boleti. Abota um si C I U. Abota C I U. I think C I D O C I U. C I D la for C I U. C I D O C I U. But is is from is from the is from their intelligence side. But is double. Aske aske C I D do la C I U bari abota la kuloding karibu karola double ma kontong ni ninge ta 2012 samole kono. Where was this panel held? Nim panelo ni yake nuno mto. It was held at NIA. Yake nuno NIA le. Were there any state guard personnel? Fomol bi jeremy alangko 
mil bata na man sala kwadato bang so jarol i can recall hakilo mo motano any jungles jungle bi jela bang no hani you are not tortured i met agria i was not beaten hani i malipa you're lucky the junglers did not show up mandra bende junglers wolu manna so this was not a serious matter but any man ka kuti mi alon ka agraw ta bage i was informed in the panel ye nyinki baro dina panel oto je ko that the president oh president has given a directives wole nyin kango di that you know he don't want to see me at the military police kama la fi ndela soldier police bundala i should be arrested and detained ko nyanta mutala le sindi dula kele hold the second mbatu mbatu you are informed ya fo en ko that the president did not want to see you at the military police comme president kama la fi keje military police bundato correct ah and therefore you should be detained o kang ye nyanda ke mu sindi dula kele correct but the, the main reason for the arrest bari dalilo me mutaro sabu was there was a former recruit wala mu mo nene tata former recruit eh yes mo nene tata je me yalon ko ya ta kutake and that person reported my issue to the president o mari le fango yente la ko mo fo president oy that during their during their recruitment ko wato me be te lutala we used to mal handle them nke tilimbali yale and i think uh, the president was not happy with this amira wala e man dia president oy and uh, he he ordered for my arrest wala na e kango di pour yente muta and what do you mean by mal man handle ni ko mal handle wo ko to mo nati you know sometimes during recruitment when the recruits make some offenses you punish them wato me ye moluta kutake ni be karandika ni me ye sila kurungota tumo do lunke kulule sometimes you take them for extra pt mo do lu isi la do kulu la fay nyanta do kulu men ke lay si wato la fay ye sometimes when they are going for um break ni bitala misal kam e bitala dahala you can extend their period of time isi e law daha wato tay bulu bitu nyanta do ko men ke la yi o la fa mr witness in the army that is called punishment it's not called man handle ah mr sedo wo mu ami la karola wo mu fenati nyalan ko that is true that's wo mu to nyalti what did you do to warrant the accusation that you man handled them sa mo ne ye mo ne ke foyati na yo tumi ro nyin le kan council this um, matter was investigated council le nyin ko kisi kisi le did they allege that you beat them ye tumi la ko ye le pale ba no ani what kind of man handling did they allege ye 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 mo ye mo ne ye tumi mo ne la ko mi ye mo manya le ke la this was never explained to me in the in the panel at all in the manyin satan te ye ka fatam fansi ne panel o to je all that they told me was that you know the recruit made an allegation that you are part of the instructors who used to punish them i am ye men fon te je wolam nyinti ko ete be karandir la le kono men ya lon ko alka kuluro la itul kan itul men mo kutolti i was arrested with um, malafi jaju ye ne malafi jaju le muta nyola Uh, karamo jata anin karamo jata and serin jallo anin serin jallo serin jallo now is a captain serin jallo say mo captain oleti karamo jata is a sergeant karamo jata say mo sergeant oleti malafi was later in the nai but now i wouldn't know where he is now malafi ko ko la na tana tara nai e bari sayin dal mala be daming and uh, this punishment was in it normal was in it part of the work when you kuluro nyin fa anyanta ka kele fa dabe do ko nyin ko na la bang it is part of it is part of the recruitment process wo be mo kuto lu ta kuta nya do ko le ko no ah do you believe that your arrest and detention was lawful it is for la ta la ko ye ye muta min ke ani ye sindi de la kelen wo mu fenati mi ani lu wa tata nyola i felt it was not lawful nga ta le ko dal ani lu wa man ta because i felt that if there was such um situation that may warrant the arrest of me 
kato nanyi muta ko nin kule keta meya akendi ko inyanta nte muta lale the commandant then at a time with frown at it o tembo mem mo kunton ko ti sojarol nte lakarol la woto be ko jube la nyaado nyalema because instructors are normally transferred from the training school gato karandir lalu jama jama e ke sawndile ka bonan karam mo nyinto sojar karam mo to if you do what is not expected ni ku ke meyalon ko jiko manyang jiko mantara kan wala imanyang ka akela so if four of us were involved in that issue that warrant the arrest ni wo ya tara woto ntel mo na no be na tara wo ko ko no han fo yentol muta and the command firstly our company our company commanders were not aware folo folo ntel la sapanya ton ko lu mambo kalama the commandant was not aware sorry the chief instructor was not aware karandir la nya ton ko mambo kalama and also the commandant also was not aware adu mem mun tol be la kundon ko ti wol tembo wo makamo to fana mambo kalama the chief of defense staff was not aware adu sojarol be kundon ko mambo kalama and if the matter has to be treated at the commander in chief's level nin ayatra kulum nyinti nyanta mem bola nyoto bitun sojaru be sojarol be la kundon ko la makam bundato i felt it was an overreaction na mutale ko woto ye kulu la na tambile but that oh, that statement it was an overreaction that is in fact an, an understatement he violated the laws of this country commissa ay ko lande tambe kala wo mu keta fene de miyal ko fan ay loi loi letnya ye lo satrol min lande a bota wotol that is true in effect you saying that our then president yaya jame did not respect the law say kamu fo wala ni de ko ta law president ko doni yaya jame amon loi bu nya that's true mu to nyalde how did you feel about that mu ne kala mu taw taw i balo taw wo karola i felt demoralized as an instructor aketanye kutime alon ko aketanye maloleti kartu ndemu karandir lalde because at that time that was tembo i was an instructor i was i i i served in the training school for over 14 years kato karambu nyin to sojar karambu to yatra nga sanji men siata sanji tanni nani ti ngawki i felt that my departure from the school could have been more honorable nani mutako kabo karambu to sojar karambu to as nyanta kala nyale ma men nim bu nya sita nyola but it could not have come through that situation bare ma mira nyanta na la nungu sila fasongol lela the commander in chief abused his power commanda wolem nyaton ko sojaro la nyaton ko aya la symbole jai that's wrong um to nyaat ya jami acted unlawfully ya jami manya ke mi ani loi manta that's wrong um to nyaat did you feel betrayed by the commander in chief your own commander fo eta fe ye mon kalamute balo bala wala ni sojaro la ko donko aye jam fale jam fale ke de la karola that's wrong um to nyaat and you are detained for three months and we not any muta minta da karisaba yes um to nyalde on lawfully ani lo amanta yes um to nyalde you suffered during that period didn't you ye ye bata bal la taki wo wato ko for while on the detention wato membe muto ko no my wife called me namu so yen kumandi and inform me that my son was sick ay yim fo nyako ndingu be sasarin ne and that there was no money to take him to the hospital ndu ko di tabulu pour ka dindu samba l'hopital no to i told her to borrow money ngaye ko do donto in order to secure medication for him fasi boro lu soto non ndingwe unfortunately anata ke koma sayoti my son died ndingu fata who do you blame you blame ola jumala jumala ka I blame it on Yaja me who ordered for my detention. Naya jamele to me me ye kangodi ko ko ye muta ye sindi dulakling. Mr Chair we can take a break.